Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to everything you have to experience right here in the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and today we're talking turtles. You know, a few years back, we crossed off these incredible sea creatures down at a hatching release in Corpus, but we found another way to interact with these amazing animals down on South Padre Island at Sea Turtle Inc. The sands of South Padre Island are a stupendous summer stop on the Texas bucket list. But when you're down on the island, it doesn't all have to be about sand and surf. If you're up for something that will get you out of your shell, situated smack dab on the center of South Padre is Sea Turtle Lake. These people are very passionate about what they do. Since 1992, Jeff George has had a role in keeping this Texas treasure on its totally tubular turtle mission. Sea turtles are endangered species. They live in and around South Padre Island. Our mission is to treat the injured turtles and release them. We also take care of all the nesting activities on South Padre. And one of our big components is creating public awareness. Throughout the year, injured sea turtles make their way to Sea Turtle Inc. via volunteers and regular folks who come across turtles in a tight spot along Texas beaches. We've seen some horrific injuries and animals make it. We've seen turtles released uh, as juveniles finally come back and lay eggs as a mom. And so these are very heartwarming stories, but they're amazing animals. It was 1977 when the Sea Turtle Sanctuary got its start by a woman affectionately known as the Turtle Lady. Isla Fox Letcher started all of this in her backyard, and thanks to donations, it's grown into what it is today. So this is the educational center that we've made for public awareness, education, and these are turtles that can't be released. So these tanks go from 20,000 to 55,000 gallons of water. Wow. Seawater that's filtered continuously. These are tanks large enough to send a diver, a human being into the tank with turtles that aren't gonna be released, much like aquariums. But it presents the opportunity for people to actually communicate with somebody actually in there with the turtle. What's that skin feel like? How hard is that shell? What does this turtle eat? So it's a great way to engage kids and the public and let them see people interacting with sea turtles. Getting a good look at these loggerheads, hawksbills, Kemp's Ridley, and green sea turtles is a terrific treat. But seeing the work that's done here will make you flap your flippers. Now well, this is the kind of spa treatment the turtles like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> Nina Navi is a bit newer here, and she sticks her neck out when it comes to her passion for turtles. I love talking about sea turtles. I love talking about sea turtle rehab. Um, I think it's great that the public can actually come here and see these injured animals, hear their stories, which nine times out of ten, they're here for human-related reasons, whether it be entanglement, fishing hooks, hit by boats. Um, so I think it's really important for people to come here and actually see these turtles in various stages of the rehabilitation process. So who do we have here? So this is Princess Anna. She stranded about a month ago. She was trapped in the rocks at our jetties here on South Padre Island. Sometimes that happens with the turtles, and it creates these abrasions on her plastron, which is the bottom half of her shell. Princess Anna, how'd y'all name this one? Um, actually, whoever finds the turtle, whoever rescues it, gets to name it. Oh. Um, so, not sure the origin of Princess Anna. That's why we have a couple of bizarre turtle names here. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting when you have to let her go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Thank you, I'm here all week. <laughs> <laughs> Much like a turtle in a race, the slow and steady work of rehabilitating these sea creatures is a thorough process. She's eating really well, um, her blood looks great, x-rays look good, so she's on the way to recovery. All right, well bye Anna. Others take a bit more time with injuries that really make you realize how resilient turtles can be. As you can see, she has an old shark bite wound right there that actually took a chunk out of her shell and she's missing part of her right hind flipper from that shark bite. This turtle was found floating um, buoyant in our shipping channel out here. It has a lot of gastrointestinal gas. Um, this turtle also is severely emaciated, so very underweight. You can see her bones and tendons here in her neck, which normally should not be visible in a healthy turtle. It's amazing a shark can take a chunk out of her shell like that and she survive. Yeah, sea turtles are incredibly resilient. I mean, they'll survive things that a mammal would never survive. <laughs> These are amazing animals. They can recover from some horrific injuries where they're nearly sliced in half or 
propellers going all the way to the lung and they're making remarkable recovery. Honestly, it's that they are such amazing, hardy, resilient animals that they can recover with a little bit of human help. Considering these animals have been hanging out on South Padre long before spring break was a thing, keeping the reptiles regulars is part of the mission here. That's why volunteers scour the beaches, making sure nests are marked and properly cared for. That's the legacy we're leaving is helping this population recover and keep the species alive. None of us make a lot of money, none of us ever will, but we're passionate about our oceans, we're passionate about the sea turtles in our oceans, and that's what drives us every day. That's what gets us up in the morning, that's what keeps us up at night with the hatchlings. And so many of us are working 15, 16 hour days uh, because we love what we do. So if you're passionate about sea turtles or simply want to see some folks that are, Sea Turtles Inc. on South Padre Island is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. So I think it's just really important for people to actually see what the impact is on wildlife that we're having um, and they're able to connect with those animals so we're taking little steps hopefully to make a big change. Until you're nose to nose or up close and personal with a sea turtle you just don't get the sense of how magnificent, how beautiful they are, how majestic they are, how prehistoric they are until you can lay eyes on them.